first turn. It's a battle, just as suggested, between Andretti and Unzer. Michael cooks his brakes hot, tries to hold on to the corner, and does so. And so began the second race of the 1991 IndyCar World Series. The battle was on between Michael Andretti and Al Unser Jr. And before the first lap was completed, Little Al made his move. Here comes Little Al making a move to the inside. He takes the line away from Michael Andretti. Can they hold on? He's got it. It's sort of now Al Unser Jr. in front. Beautiful. While Unser Jr. and Andretti fought it out in front, others had come to grief. In fifth place, Rick Mears was dicing with Mario Andretti, and Andretti was winning the fight. Look at Mario as he darts to the inside, picks up the position on Mears, but Mears has none of it. He's going to come along. Now we have a drag race on shoreline. Mears and Mario Andretti. Mears was now sixth, and he soon had another Andretti in his mirrors, this time John. Nice little battle developing for sixth place. Let's take a look as John Andretti in the yellow car cruises past Rick Mears. Beautiful little pass there. Mears stays in the fight. Scott Goodyear is just behind him. Magnificent battle. Out in front, it was all clear for Little Al. It's interesting with these cameras how we can watch what the drivers are doing with their hands, how they hold their hands, and what things that really makes me makes a difference in this speed. Behind, the scrap for the minor places continued. Cheever and Pruitt pouncing on Leyendike. Look at that, look at Cheever duck under Leyendike. Scott Pruitt tries to get through too, and Pruitt makes it past as well. While Pruitt had managed to pass Leyendike, unfortunately the manoeuvre had cost him, forcing him to retire with damaged suspension after his machine touched the Dutchman's. Others soon joined him. There's Buddy Lazier in the 44 car in one of the runoff areas, sitting by the edge of the race course. The 50 car is Mike Groff. Mike Groff off the edge of the course. Meanwhile, Chiba was on the move. You see him pull out. Up, moves to the inside, tries to get the line away. They're both hard on the brakes. And Chiba takes the line, holds him off, and grabs the position. The pace of the race was taking its toll. The leaders came in to refuel and changed the rubber. We're watching an award-winning pit stop team in action. The Gallus Preco crew servicing Al Unser Jr. They changed the tires. They're waiting for the fuel. They're down off the track. This is an excellent stop. 16.2 seconds, cleanly away, the leader of the race. Little Al was in a big hurry. Here is Little Al as he moves past Rick Mears. John Andretti's woes continued, hitting the wall and ending his race. As John Andretti up against the wall. With his wreck obstructing the course, the yellow flags went out. Fittipaldi decided to pit, but as he left, he didn't see Michael Andretti coming up fast behind him. Stop, Jack. It was right around oh, 11 seconds, but oh, problem on pit road. Terrible crash. It looked like the Andretti car for a second there as he came over the top of Fittipaldi. Andretti was fuming, blaming Fittipaldi's crew. All I know is all of a sudden I'm going to T-bone Emerson. He's right in front of me. So uh, I think it was responsibility of their guys not to wave him out, you know, because they saw me coming full blast. I was already in third gear flat out and, uh, you know, I had nothing, nowhere to go. Well, I'm very disappointed. You know, I, Michael has to accept I was going out of the pit ahead of him. He should back off. There's no space where to go. And uh, it just hit me on the back. I mean, what else can I do? No sooner had the track and the pit lane been cleared when there was more carnage. It looks like the uh, 22 car of Scott Brayton and Scott Goodyear. The Scots together in the turn. Oh, boy. That was the final drama. Little Al coasting on to victory at Long Beach. There is Al Hunter Jr. And he wins the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. And that, by the way, is the 50th win for the Chevrolet racing engine. 16 career wins for Little Al. Bobby Rahal was second, Eddie Cheever third, Rick Mears fourth, Ari Leyendijk fifth, and rookie Ted Prappas was